This is the first of a two-part sequence on relational operators in MATLAB. In this video, we'll briefly review the purpose of relational operators and do some simple examples. In the next video, we'll do more complex examples. Relational operators compare values to each other. There are six main relational operators shown in this table here. For instance, we can see if one value is less than the other value. The output of a relational statement is a special data type called a logical. Logicals are either true or false. Numerically, false is represented by a zero, and true is represented by a one. Actually, true can be any non-zero number, but it's most commonly one. Logicals are also called booleans, which may sound familiar if you've taken a prior coding class or logic class. Let's jump into MATLAB and explore some of the six relational operators. Here we are in MATLAB. You can download a skeleton script file or a completed script file from the links in the video description. You can use relational operators to compare scalars to scalars, arrays to arrays, and scalars to arrays. First, let's compare two scalars. Here we have two scalars, a equals 1 and b equals 2. The output is a logical 1 or true. Note that MATLAB clearly indicates the 1 is a logical data type as opposed to the standard double data type. This shouldn't be surprising since 1 is indeed less than 2. Let's try something else. Now we asked if a is greater than or equal to b, and the answer is 0 or false. Here we use the double equals to ask if a and b are equivalent. Note that the double equals test equality, whereas the single equals is used to assign a value to a variable. Because a and b both have different values, the result is a logical zero. Lastly, we are checking if a and b are not equivalent. This tilde key can usually be found one key above the tab key on US keyboards. This operation yields true since A and B are in fact different. Now let's try comparing two arrays, aka a vector or a matrix. When relational operators are used on vectors or matrices, the comparison is applied element by element and outputs an equally sized array of logical ones or zeros. We asked if the first element of A is less than or equal to the first element of B, which is true. Then we asked if the second element of A is less than or equal to the second element of B, which is also true, and so forth. Note that A, B, and the corresponding output all have the same dimensions. Now we are seeing if the corresponding elements in two equally sized matrices are not equivalent. The result is a 2x2 two two logical matrix indicating that the diagonal elements of each matrix are not equivalent. I hope you're starting to get the idea. In the next video, we'll continue exploring relational operators.